my name is Tony and I'm with Kyber Customs and today we're going to show you how to install your Swiss grader upper handguard onto your gas tube. We are the original developer and manufacturer of the removable vented gas tube cover. These are manufactured here in the great state of Texas. We've been selling this product for a little bit over five years now. Please note that when you purchase a product from Kyber Customs, you are purchasing an original and not a copy or a knockoff. We have our original Swiss grater, our hater grater, and our slotted grater. And this size right here will fit any AKM or AK-74 style gas tube. Our AKM and AK-74 length graders measure out to approximately four and one quarter inches. And these should be compatible with any upper handguard that measures that same length. We also offer a Yugo or ZPAP length gas tube. We offer it in a Swiss grader style, hater grader style, and a slotted grader style. Our Yugo ZPAP length graders measure out at approximately five and one quarter inch and should be compatible with any upper handguard that measures that length. And the instructions for installation will apply to any of these designs. I'm going to gather a couple tools here. This is going to help with removing the factory upper hand guard and installing the new Kuiper Customs upper hand guard. We've got a vise, some gloves, needle nose pliers, a gunsmithing hammer or some type of nylon hammer, and a flat head screwdriver. Alright, step one. We've got to remove the upper hand guard here. These can be on a little tight. What we're going to do is we're going to take the rear lug right here this part of our gas tube and we're gonna use that as our kind of clamping point in our vise. Get that rear lug, tighten down our vise here. A glove will certainly help the process and all you really do is just twist and you'll see that it will rotate around until it's essentially 180 degrees from its starting point and then from there you just pull it out. Now you've got a naked gas tube. Closer look here. Uh, the difference between these two upper hand guards, the one on the left coming off of a Russian Soviet kit uh, and on the right a commercial Bulgarian kit, there can be quite a lot of variants and keep in mind that the the furniture and, and most of the components on your rifle had to be hand fit at the factory. With wood they oversize them and then just sand them down to fit each individual rifle. So it's just important to keep that in mind when you start removing hand fit parts from a rifle and exchange them for aftermarket you may end up having to do a little hand fitting as well. It's not unusual and it certainly does not mean that there's a problem. Okay now that we've got the original upper handguard removed it's time to start preparing the new Kyber Customs handguard for install. So the first thing we want to do is we want to orient it. Keep in mind that these are tapered, which means that one end will actually have a little bit of a smaller radius than the other. If you look at this kind of against a flat surface, you'll see that the smaller tapered end is on the left and the wider radius is on the right. The smaller radius towards the front will go on the front of the gas tube and the wider radius will go towards the rear. So now that we have the orientation figured out, the next thing we want to do is we want to check the radius in the front and the rear with the radius of the retainers here. So the way we do that is just simply by kind of lining them up here. And we'll see, I really like to have the radius about as close to the retainers as possible. If I've got to squeeze it just a tad to get them in place, that's going to make sure that they fit really tight. And so you can see that the front here I'm able to squeeze it and get it in. Let's check our rear. Rear radius here is super tight and I was able to get it in right like that. Let's see if we can, there we go. So I've got the radius about as tight as I can get it there without having to make a whole lot of adjustments. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hammer and I'm going to hammer it down into the gas tube like this. That way we've got it seated all the way in. 
The last step is to get it twisted in place. So we talked about adjustability here before. Uh, that's so that we can fit a variety of gas tubes, condition, and countries of origin. So a couple of uh, quick little tips here when it comes to adjusting radius on the front or rear. If you need to adjust the radius a little bit smaller to fit, you can do so with your hammer just simply by kind of just a couple light taps on each side until you get the radius the way that you want. If you need to open the radius up, you can do that with some needle nose pliers very simply. Just kind of pick the area that you want to open and like I said, do a little at a time until you get it exactly where you want it. All right, we are here at the final step. We've got the upper hand guard seated at the bottom of the gas tube. We simply need to rotate it 180 degrees into its final spot. Now this is probably gonna be the step that takes a little bit of muscle. You know, we designed these to be tight. Uh, if we didn't do that, they'd be rattling around when you get them in place and that's no good. So uh, out of respect for that, I recommend that you put on a glove and use a vise. We're gonna be vising the rear lug area of the gas tube, just like before. Gonna get it. Let's see here. I'm gonna go this way. All right. And we simply grab it and just twist. All right. Now we got about, uh, I would say, about half of the way twisted, and I caught a little bit of resistance and had to pull a little bit harder, but I was able to get it overcome. Just want to show you what it looks like before I kind of move it into its final spot. But you'll see number one. It's tight, there's no movement here. Uh, it looks pretty even on both sides as far as where it's meeting on the retainers. I might give it just a little bit more of a twist to even it out. It looks really good, I don't know if y'all can see. We've got everything in place right here. I'm gonna give it just a tad more rotation just to even it out. thing I'm gonna do just to go one step further you don't really need to do this as you can see it's tight there's no rattling here but what I like to do is I like to come in here and I'll take my flathead screwdriver and I'll just kind of pull these out just a tad just so that they're nice and flush with the retainers it's not something you have to do it's not something I really did early on it's just something I've been doing you know just kind of as years have gone by just to really get the fit and finish looking really good for our customers so with that said you're installed you should be able to pop this right on your rifle without any complications at this point. And the best part about it is if at any point down the road they become loose, you just simply come in here with your flathead and you can uh, adjust them out while they're installed. Or if you want, you can remove it and adjust the radius the way that we showed you before. But thank you for your business. Stay tuned for more installation videos on Kyra Custom Exclusive Products. We appreciate your business over the years. We'll see you soon.